Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Boron content from the X4 Kingdom's End new expansion. Today we're going to be checking out the station which has been asked by a few people to check out what they look like. So I'm going to do a bit of a twofer for you. First we're going to have a look in the base building side of things, so station building, to see what the schematics look like. Um, what new device, you know, what new systems we have there. We'll have a look at the logistics that go along with that. And then we will have a physical look at what they look like from an external viewpoint. Uh, we'll probably fly the ship to it so you can see it from an external, completely external, as in from a ship. And then we'll do our usual little bit of a, uh, well, well, we'll let the, the streaming view take over to show the rest of the station. And we'll have a check on the internals as well as we go there. Without further ado, let's head on straight into the building side of the station and see what it looks like. Okay, and here we have our jumbled mess of station that we're going to be checking out today. We're going to go through each component as they what they are and kind of like the connection points that they have and stuff like that. As you can see, there are quite a few new uh, station building components, which is quite nice. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first one I'm going to be checking out is the production modules. The first one you get, the new one you get, is the bow gas, which is this one here. You can see here it does have a couple of connection points. If I move it around, you can see there's a connection point on either end. Our next one we're going to have a look at is the Plankton product. Again, we've got connection points on both ends and potentially on the top bottom side. Yes, we do. You can see it's... Oh, no, no, it's just side to side there. Mofu product, the third production module. Again, side to side connections there. Let's see if I left it up and down, you can see the two sides there are connecting. And last but not least, for production, is the Boron medical supply product. Again, side to side connection there. Very small, nice and compact. Uh, certainly more compact than what some of these uh, production modules can be. No new energy cells or anything like that, only the Terrans have their own energy cells. Um, so we'll have a look at what these are intended for in our uh, logical side of things or at least we'll have a, a little bit of a deeper look into them. We'll go into more in depth about the kind of economy side of things in a separate video. Today's just about looking at them at a quick glance. Next we're going to go into storage. We're not going to go off this list here. We're going to go into what I put down. So we've got our boron small, medium and large and we've got container, liquid and solid. So again, these are your typicals. You can see there are connection points. If I can get it going. See connection points on a typical connection point up and down on the storage, like most of them are. Obviously, there are a couple that are exempt from that, um, where they have their own little connection points, but the majority of them are up and down. Let's bring it back into my list so I know where it is. Again, that's what they all are. So they all have the same connections. You can see here these uh, these are attached to them are the Terran large containers. Just to give you a bit of a size comparison, they are pretty similar in size. Uh, they're slightly narrower if you look at them from. Well, I guess they're pretty much the same. Maybe maybe just a tad slightly um, less circumference to them. But overall, there isn't a major size difference. Looks wise, they look really nice from the um, from this side of things. Uh, from the schematic side, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they look like actually in the game That's gonna be certainly interesting. So we'll be checking that out right moving on we have our Living quarters now attached to our large boron oasis, which is the living quarters is a large Terran living quarters now you can see here the um, the kind of platform for size um, the footprint for boron is much much smaller than what you'd expect from a Terran. As you can see the Terran takes a larger disc area here. That disc would probably go all the way around that one. Um, obviously we can't physically do that but you can see it's pretty much like that. Slightly longer on the sides but it does encompass most of it. As you can see there's a little bit of a size comparison. Again we'll see these size comparisons from the external view as well. But you've got your small, your medium and your large oasis. Pretty standard for most of the uh, production side of stuff, you've got small, medium, large um, quarters for, for most factions. Nice and simple. Straight in again into our connectors. Now, the Borons seem to have a few extra connectors and they look pretty awesome. So you get your standard one, two and three that most factions have. You've now got four, which is uh, kind of like a, a T connection on the end of a long connector here. Um, you can see here if I move it when it lets me. 
You see it's got slightly angled, so you can see that they, they're laid flat. You can see they won't connect to them, whereas if we get one that's slightly angled, it will connect to it nicely. So they're, they're off an off angle, they're not 90 degrees in the platform, so that's kind of cool. And then you get this like kind of S-bend one, which looks nice. You're going to be able to build some really nice stations with the um, module sizes. I'm kind of hoping that they may look at the other stations that we've already got, like the Argons and stuff like that, and introduce these connectors Get into there. That'd be really out. nice as well. Uh, another thing as well, which is almost unique to the Borons, I believe there's one other faction with it as well, is two connectors. Uh, there is, off the top of my head, another faction with a connector, with two lots of connectors as well. Most only have the one, which is a small one here. Whereas the Borons have two. This is probably just slightly bigger than the Living Quarters uh, disc. But you can see we've got connection points on six points. Striking. This one has connection points on three points. And you can see there are an angle to each point. So the 33 degree angles for these. 33.33 uh, recurring if you want to be uh, very specific. Uh, and then again, these have got six, so you've got them going around on either side here, which is pretty smart. Um, I'll, I do like this connector. It looks really smart, and I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like on the external view. Right. This here is our Boring Administration Administrator Center. This is actually the three that you have for the defense platform. So you've got the admin center, you've got the bridge, and you've got the defense disc. Defense discs... Uh, this nice little triangle again 33 degree angles you've got your normal typical bridge it looks slightly smaller uh, as a matter of fact let's have a look at a bridge module okay it's actually bigger um, it looks smaller at a glance but it is not it's lying to us let's place that next to it so we can see on an external view um it may be okay so it's not quite as long as a terran one but the standard one is much smaller. That's where I've been confused because I've been playing obviously Terrence for quite some time. So that's why I've got that size in the back of my head. So yeah, pretty standard three connections there. You can see them just there. Pretty awesome. Obviously you need the admin center to make it into a defense platform uh, to be able to take over systems. Okay, moving straight on. We're now getting over to our build modules. So we have our Boron Fab Bays and Maintenance Bays. These look really strange um i don't think if i remember we've got anything that's kind of like that you see these ship maintenance bays they're kind of similar in design they're all these blocky builds for all of the small ship builds pretty standard there's no only the terrans have a slight difference in theirs and then the borons come along and blow that out of the water not only do we blow it out of the water with our small ships they also do it with the large ones as well and extra large because they're slightly different as well and um, not much difference in terms of footprint but well these definitely have a difference in footprint however large and extra large not so much okay so these look pretty smart it looks like you've got three exit points for our built ships and you've also got three connection points as well and i'm presuming there will be a fourth underneath potentially Engaging. i can't see it looks like it doesn't actually have a connection point underneath interesting so three connection points on the side so it's kind of like a connector with ship building materials then we get to our large and extra large building materials uh, building um, modules sorry and you can see they're basically a similar design but they've got this web design rather than the nice straight designs that you expect so you've got like the um, scaffolding design um, pretty accustomed to most of them to be fair and then you've got this web design here for your boron ones, which make them look very unique. The large fab bay does look similar to uh, most of the large fab bays, and so do the extra large. But the web design makes it look very interesting. Again, we've got uh, typical. So normally we have the large ship maintenance, which is this side piece here. If we have a look at the large ship maintenance for a standard one, you can see it is pretty similar, but it does look like normally it is a bit bigger but things doing a weird thing um, it's not going to connect there properly but we'll be able to see uh, it's refusing to connect even just for a second you can, you can kind of see it's doing some funky stuff let's just uh, remove that uh, I don't know what I've 
changed, so I'm going to say no to that. So let's just bring it. Uh, can I remove it now? Please. Come on. Come back up here. It's too bloody far away, so I can't get any connection. There we go. Engaging. It's easy enough. There it is. There it is. Come on. Give it to me. Can be a little fiddly when it comes to these things. Gotta get it a right angle there. Okay, it's still not letting me for some odd reason. Don't know why it's not letting me remove it. Bring you all the way up and all the way across. I think it has to go green to be able to be removed. There we go. And there we go, yeah. Perfect. Right. Without being messed around. Okay, so, now onto the docks. The docks are interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing some of these docks. You can see them here already out on the board, but let's have a look at a closer look. So you've got the tier one dock. One, tier, one dock pier, sorry. You've then got the three dock pier. And then normally you have a small ship dock. This is our small ship dock here. And I feel like I'm missing one, but I'm not. But I feel like it, which is weird because normally we have the smaller ones, these here. We still have these standard docks, but this is our four medium and 14 small luxury dock. We then have the TS4 dock, which you can't see, because uh, it's right there, right on top. If you can just about see it. That's a trading station four tier dock top of our four dock tier t pier which is this one here so that sits comfortably on top which is really nice so you got like two fours together which is pretty sweet sweet then our final one which looks really interesting is the hexa dock pier now i believe if i remember correctly yep it does the terrans are the only one with a hexa dock so the borons have now got a hexa dock and our luxury is bigger than what the Terrans one is as well. So it's going to be really interesting to see. So what we're going to do is we're going to let all of these build up now. Because I wanted to kind of give you a bit of an outline of what they look like as you're building them. So you can see all the colour schemes that they've got. Which is standard to the rest of the modules. So you can see which one type of each one is. So we could easily get round to them. So let's fast forward it so that they're all built. And we've got everything ready to go. You'll also notice that water has now become a massive commodity when it comes to the borons which is really bad if you want to go to the previous expansions areas for the tides of avarice because water trading is illegal in some parts so that's something on a sideline to consider as a matter of fact before we fast forward into having a look at that let's have a quick look at the logical view so you can see here that we have the boron stuff here the bogas and plankton which is specific to boron which creates our bofu and also has a contribution to our medical supplies Engaging. which gives bofu and medical supplies which i'm presuming is going to be for our workforce we've also got energy cells and water as well which is pretty typical to go towards medical supplies you can also then notice that um ignoring the computate substrate um because that well, actually, that is actually picking up and saying we need it for uh, the boron maintenance space, which is interesting. That is very interesting. And you can notice that there, there is nothing specifically major at this stage in time um, until we start trying to build uh, boron ships that might be slightly different, where we might need more water supply. Uh, maybe the borons need a water supply on board to supply the, you know, um, X, X. Uh, I don't know what's going around my head, but basically the suits that they sit in. I'm sure somebody in the comment section will uh, correct me when I forget what the hell the suit is. Uh, it's going to really bug me now, but there you go. So it's going to be interesting to see. So let's now fast forward. So we've got the ships, uh, sorry, the station parts all built, and we can have a proper look at it. And we can also have a look at the docking areas as well on our ship, which is going to be pretty cool. So we'll be right back shortly. Welcome back everybody and we now have the station complete 
and this is the plankton uh, production in front of us I'm in the external ship view just to give a better view of the actual components so that's plankton there we've got the bofu one alongside it which looks kind of cool actually I like the look of that one it's different that they're actually a very different design to what I expected especially the bofu one and then we've got the medical and gas just behind these here as well there they are medical there and the gas one there which again look pretty awesome the medical one looks really cool it's quite a strange design I like it this is just a quick flyby of all, all of the ship assistant you must forgive my absence in your Wait most recent second. exploratory Let's endeavors just this quickly. it is just I have been somewhat preoccupied Okay, now that the sensitive uh, single-player missions have been concluded, let's continue our look of the storage facilities. So these are the storage facilities. Small ones, uh, oh, that one's the skewer for that we moved around. Medium ones with a nice little bit of a red glow. And then the large ones. You can see the large ones are about the same size as the Terran ones, which are the ones that they're connected to. These are looking pretty awesome. Again, that's the container storage. Then your liquid storage. Gas. Your solids. Pretty awesome. They look pretty sweet, to be fair. you got the same kind of design on the larger ones, just more encased and obviously bigger. That looks pretty awesome. And then if we have a look over here, we've got our new quarters. Again, for size comparison, we do have a Terran version connected to the larger of the Boron uh, size one. You can see that the Terran one is much, much considerably bigger than the Boron one. But obviously the Boron one is a vertical system. You'll also notice that I haven't seen much in the way of ads. You know, these little ad platforms that you get on Terran. Borons don't have the ad platforms. So this is our oasis that they call them. So the small ones at the furthest point to us, medium in the middle, then the large ones are the one that we're flying next to. They look pretty awesome though. Again, just a quick glance over how these look. Similar design at each one, just slight variation actually to here. This has got like a little bit of a ring on it. You see it's a similar design between all three and then they just get larger. Next is our connection points. So if we'll have a hover over here you'll see the connection points we discussed earlier. So we've got the smalls, and the medium and the large. We've then got the T uh, the well the kind of 45 degree bend ones that were here and the f-shaped one which really does stand out now that it's built looks pretty awesome to be fair and then our vertical connections there to the left and our two cross connectors the one with the large one as well i'm really loving how these look you can just see them all there and then obviously in the background we've also been having a look at the um, docking platforms as well Okay, this here is the defense platforms. That's our administration. The bridge, you can see the size comparison between the other two as well. And then the cross connector as well. That's our hexa dock below there. You can see it from there. It looks pretty awesome. It looks like a bit of a tree style to it. It's kind of overlapping itself and it looks pretty awesome. And if we take a scoot on over here, all of our ships are hanging about this is the one where the small ships can dock in so the small ships dock inside just like they do for the terrans I love docking this granted um, it's giving me docking which i don't require now if you ask me oh my landing gears just come out this is giving me independence day vibes more so on one of the other connectors well, that's definitely giving me an Independence Day vibe. So that's the uh, docking port for small ships. 
plus a couple of medium ships as well. We've then got our T connectors, which are all these ones here. These do have ads on them. The other side of Barnes aren't, well, sorry, are not susceptible to uh, ads. They are. And then we've got the other, the two medium, uh, sorry, the two small to medium um, ship fab bay and ship maintenance bay. T-junctures on the other side there. The hexa deck, which I will come down and have a look at that. But I want to go inside here because this is even more so like Independence Day. You come in here and you got this here, look. That thing in the middle there. Where they're sat there looking at you. Docking granted. Docking aborted. Thank you. There we go, right. So this is the construction section. So let's uh, head on and out. Same again there. Then you've got the large and extra large docking bays where they build the ships here as well. Let's have a scoop round here. Oh, I might clip that. Oh, I did. Did I clip it? Yeah, I did. Not to worry. But there you go. That's the Boron XL and large ship fabrication bays. This is a pretty cool design look, look as well. There we go. Nice and up close. I know it might be a little bit jarring going back and forward, but I just want to give you a good look at what they look like. And then last not, but not least, I want to take us to the Hexa Dock to have a good look at this. This is pretty damn awesome. Look at this. Looks really nice. Oh, I've shot my own station. So there you go. So this is the hex deck. We've got stuff coming off everywhere. It looks awesome. It looks crazy. And then, to be fair, I actually forgot to check out this one above, which is the T dock. With also the other dock sat above it as well, which you can now see. That's for the training dock. You can see the train docks just full of lights because obviously they just kind of hover there. So there you go. So that looks pretty awesome as well. And these are massive um, station builds. So there you go. So that is all of the Boron um, new modules that you're going to get with the Kingdom's End DLC plenty of things here that you can build some crazy stations with they look absolutely phenomenal some of these please halt we will be scanning your inventory cool so there we go let's have a little bit of a look there scan is clear you're free to go okay so we're going to jump into here i don't know if we can get a uh, yes we can we can get a live stream view so we'll live stream view so you can have another look as it's going around and I just talked to finish off this episode. So there you go. There you have it. There is all of the modules for station building. I think we're going to see some amazing designs with these. Now obviously the likelihood is you're going to have to stick with more on. But there may be other bits that might work with it as well. Boron design is quite unique. And I think if you have the right color scheme along with it as well, obviously I'm using the cardinal one, which is kind of the one that's giving it the, the nice matching colored glow. Um, if you don't have that, don't worry. There are plenty of things you can do. People are already building ships in my station already. That is phenomenal. That's awesome. Security would like to remind all visitors to keep their belongings with them at all times. Okay, cool. Right, so we have got our belongings with us. So there you have it. There are all of the components. If you've got any questions or anything about any of the components, remember there will be a full guide on the logistics side of things. So all the economy and all that lot will all be covered in a later date. Once the game has fully released, we'll get our hands into the economy to make some major, major cash like we like to do on most of our playthroughs. But any questions about anything else, then please do so in the comment section below. But 
that is us for this one. So until next time, everybody, take care for now. And I shall see you all on the next one. Bye-bye for now.